Housing is a major issue in Burlington, and now City Council is hoping a new proposal passed last night will help the crisis. But there are still concerns from neighbors. NBC5's Anna Guber is live in the newsroom. Anna, what can you tell us about this decision? Well, Lauren, addressing the ongoing housing crisis has remained a top priority among Burlington's current city councilors. Many who believe infill or increasing housing density in existing neighborhoods is the best solution to make housing more affordable and accessible in the city without further burdening Burlington residents with even higher taxes than they're taking on this year. The new neighborhood zoning codes will allow developers to build up to two buildings in a single lot in low and medium zoning districts. Each new building can include up to four units, a change from the initial proposal which allowed for up to eight units in each building. The updated proposal also scales back how much of each lot new construction can take up. But the councillors unanimously believe that increasing housing in existing neighborhoods will increase housing affordability and accessibility for people looking to come and stay in the Queen City. On the whole, I believe the neighborhood code will allow for new neighborhood oriented housing opportunities in smaller multi-unit buildings. It will promote greater density along our most major transit corridors. It will remove historical barriers to renovation that have frustrated Burlington homeowners for decades and it will support small businesses in our communities. During last night's meeting, counselors reassured neighbors that despite adopting the new code, this will remain a slow moving process as the city works with developers on ways to keep new housing at a low cost for incoming Burlington residents. But how to ensure affordability based on the new amendments is one of many concerns current residents shared during last night's meeting. And coming up in the next half hour, I'll have more on the points residents are taking issue with and why many are calling this vote a rush decision. Live in the newsroom, Anna Goober, NBC5 News.